We are here with our state attorney, Lawson Lamar, and um, what we're talking about is the issue of internet cafes or, or, or gambling sweepstakes houses that are, are popping up in, in strip malls. Um, I, this is a major problem down in South Florida, and I've seen a lot of newspaper articles about the organized crime and, and other um, problems associated with these businesses, but we, we don't have that as much of a problem here in Central Florida. Why is that? All through the Ninth Circuit, that's my circuit, Orange and Osceola, we have made sure that there are no internet cafes. We have prosecuted successfully and we have won the appeals. Internet cafes are hooked up to major combines that take millions and millions of dollars away from elderly, mostly fixed income people, and they are being defrauded. There's nothing internet about them, there's nothing cafe about them. They're gambling houses and it's all a ruse. The I'm a veteran, but the fact that they say they support veterans to me is a sham because only a tiny percentage goes to veterans organizations. It's a way to say that they're good people. What I see them doing to old people is not good and we have prosecuted it successfully. There's other circuits in the state of Florida who refuse to prosecute them. Some of those agencies, those groups that make big money have actually contributed money to state attorneys campaigns in other places. and. We have got to keep those shut down. We've done it effectively here. Scott Plakin, Seminole County, Republican rep, has helped us significantly, and we have, we have assisted him to help tighten state, state legislation so that other circuits would be more aggressive in shutting these places down. They hurt the people of Florida. They need to be closed, and we're going to keep them closed here in Orange Osceola. Because there's been, um, with a number of them, there's been documented ties to organized crime and, 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 and gangs and, and, and that kind of thing, right? In our area, we've seen organized groups taking huge profits off. I would hate to call it criminal at this point, although we have prosecuted their activity and removed them from the circuit. Uh, if one of them pops up, we'll hit him again. And even the name is a sham. All the, all the winners are predetermined. The players don't know that. They go in, it's just a gambling machine set up, uh, and you see the same old folks there night after night after night giving up their quarters and dollars. It's sad.